unbelievable. How proud can one man be? You are, without a doubt, the cockiest human I've ever met! That's simple. Because he's the most powerful man in the seven deadly sin. I'm also the one who stands at the pinnacle of all races. Before I kill you, I have to know. What was your name again? And my name is Lyle. What is good, beautiful people? I'm your host, King Line of Locks. I'm still on vacation at the time of this recording, um, but I want to get two videos out just just because to get it ahead um, when I come back. One of which is the Madam Web trailer. Uh, the trailer had came out, uh, today is 11.15. Uh, I think it came out a couple days before then, but just in case if it didn't, I wanted to get this uh, to you guys and see my reactions for it. Um, I don't know too much about Madam Web, not gonna lie to you guys. The most of, of her that I know is a lot of the stuff from the Spider-Man animated series. Um, of that being an old woman being able outside of Spider-Man's universe being able to control uh, Not really control but able to see what's happening of that universe as well as other universes uh, That's connected to Spider-Man uh, I believe over the time like her iteration of her character has changed and so she's no longer an elderly woman now I think she's an um, a I think she's a younger woman either a redhead or I think she has blonde hair um, so yeah, it, I don't know too much about modern, modern Madam Web, but the most of the stuff I knew about her was back when she was the old woman that couldn't leave the chair. Um, let's see what the new, uh, well, hold on, leave the chair. Um, but without further ado, let's watch this trailer because I want to see what their take on Madam Web is. From what I was told, this is outside of the, the MCU Spider-Man, so the Tom Holland universe. They didn't say if it's outside. I think they did say, but I'm not entirely sure if this is a standalone um, series all by herself. Like she's in her own universe, like how Spider-Man's in, in his own universe. Um, let's see. What do you want from me? Why do you care for me? Also, we're going to wait until at the end of it before I make like by point out all my things and like my stuff but from what i i can tell i think it's the chick that's from um U euphoria uh the most tasteful way i don't know her actual name but the most tasteful way that i describe the character from her is that she's the one that's most that you know i'm not gonna do that uh one of the characters from utopia euphoria one of the characters from euphoria that's not zendaya there we go and Start. Hey, come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. Damn. God damn. It threw her and shit. Let's try that again. A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? Trying to save people who were running out of it. Gassy! Until one moment changed everything. Come on! Welcome back to the land of the living. I don't understand what's happening. I've been having visions. I knew he was gonna die. I think I'm seeing the future. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. What do you want from me? What do you want? New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. This is an emergency. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill you. What? Who are you? What is going on? I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's <laughs> not how it works. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Wait, I recognize you. You live in my building. You're the paramedic. Yeah, you almost ran me over. 
You don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. What do you want from me? You have no idea what those girls have come. Why don't you want from me? I think he can see into the future. What are you wondering? He's trying to change what happens. Yeah. Julia, get down! Why aren't you scared of me? Why do you care for me? Your future was almost so different. Why do we If you want to live, you have to trust me. You're showing off. Maybe a little. Okay. 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 So, so we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Um, so, um, while I get back over to parts that I wanted to go back over. So what it looks like is that this Madam Web has the ability to, uh, see into the future, basically. So like she, at least from the, from what they're showing, that Madam Web's able to see a couple minutes ahead into the future, as well as she's able to go back if something happens. Kind of like in that movie Next with uh, Nicolas Cage. I'm not mad about that. I'm not mad about that power is at all. Um, it does look like that the the girls Madam Web is pro are protecting have spider have spider totems in them, um, which I will say I enjoyed that about the yeah like when when this guy, which I had to do a little bit of research about this, this guy, um, I'm not used to him in this costume. Let's see if I can find, oh shit, you guys can't even see it anyway. Hold on a second. Uh, there we go. So as I was saying, like, it looks like she, he's stealing some type of stealing something from her, but this guy, this evil Spider-Man will call him. I, I had to do some research on him before. And by research, I mean, I had to look him up to see who he was. And I'm not used to him being in this costume. But this guy is a, like like they mentioned, uh, it was an archaeologist who saved a, a spider temple just to get the powers of Spider-Man. And he doesn't technically have all the powers of Spider-Man. Uh, like, he doesn't have the, the spider sense. But Peter can't sense him. Just like, you know, for someone, you know, I just realized, for, let me go back, hold on a second. And I just realized for someone that has spider powers that like has a spider sense to tell him when danger comes around, his spider sense does not help him out a lot. Now that I think about it, yeah, it conventionally protects you from bullets and knives and shit like that. But like another spider person comes up, you can't sense them. Venom, you can't sense hell. Any of the car, any of the symbiotes, you can no longer sense anymore. That's a little crazy to me, but I digress. Anyway, back to Back to what I was saying. This guy saved a temple and had them sacrifice or perform a, a ritual to give him spider-like power. So that's why he's dressed up the way he is to look kind of like an evil Spider-Man or black, like um, Midnight Monkey, whatever the fuck Tom Holland had called himself. Um, that's why he looks like this. But I did like how that Madam Web is connected to all of these girls. They're not just like, they're not just girls that she found or she was just saving each of them. She was in part of their lives. So that's a, that's an interesting twist. Uh, but what makes it really interesting. And I do believe that they're doing like the whole, uh, spider totem thing. Like I mentioned before, is that the fact that all of the girls, let's see, least weird thing it that's looks like all, all of the girls have some type of spider power no or like some semblance to spider spider-man if you will like the chick from euphoria she looks like spider woman uh as well as like the iron man spider woman she has like the hair set up and the outfit like that um i think it's the black girl that has the arachnid yeah yeah, the black girl, she has, if I can even get to that part, I have no idea. I might have to slow this down. And I, let's see, can I slow this bitch down? Okay. So, yeah, like, she looks like Spider Woman. Whether it's in the, whether it's in the Iron Man animated series where Spider Woman was like Pepper or, um, more so where Mary Jane has the spider, has the symbiote and she has this outfit on too. That's what she's giving off vibes of. 
Um, her, I really couldn't tell her costume just from like this still image. I'm sure they're going to like, we'll go back and see if they give us anything more about it. But Shadi over here, she is arachnid kid or like, uh, or like one of the arachnids in the spider. Like I've seen, I've seen this outfit before. Now I'm not, I haven't seen the, uh, the, the legs, but these look like, excuse me, these look like parts of the spider, spider totem. So the, I feel like the main, shit, I am heartburn. Sorry, y'all. I feel like the main focus of this movie is going to be the evil Spider-Man. I, I know they mentioned his name, but I, to be honest with you, I forgot his name and I'll probably put it down here. Evil Spider-Man is trying to get the, the totems future. for all of the, the kids. He's and what he's doing this to get stronger. Do my my best, my, my best guess. He was not expecting Madam Web to come well, by. I will say I did like this. Thing. I don't do know you if they're gonna give her more so powers because, because because you know, you wanna live. they look like they're coming out of her back. They're, they're like they don't look like they're mechanical. They look like they're actually coming out of her. But my point was. I don't see Madam Web really doing anything more than being clairvoyant. Not to say that she can't. I do believe um, in later iterations of Madam Web, at least the older Madam Web, she was able to do more than just sit in the chair and see into the future. She had like um, energy, energy contestive, like energy concussive waves. She she could do shit, okay? She just not she was not like she's like cerebral, not cerebral. She's like Charles Xavier in the chair, but only with Spider Man. So like I I'm hoping they give her more powers than just being able to see into the future because it's kind of like you're protecting the kids, but you really can't do much, and so the kids are kind of protecting you while you're also protecting them. I understand the we help you, you help us dynamic. And hold on a second, let me let me switch this back. Let me switch this back so y'all can y'all can see what I'm talking about. So like, I, I don't have a problem with that dynamic where the kids protect you while you protect the kids. But I feel like, I, and y'all y'all build off each other. I just don't feel like that's going to make for, what am I saying? What am I saying? I don't like that it's a Madam Web movie, but she's, per, but the kids are going to, I feel like the kids are going to outshine her. And if the whole movie is her getting her powers and her protecting these kids, then I would I would need to see her do some more things. Um, her seeing into the, y'all all y'all show was her seeing into the future and then her blocking uh blast with the steel grade. Don't get me wrong, that feat is still pretty. That's still pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But when you have kids, uh, when you have the people that you're protecting that can have and uh, legs that come out of their backs. They're able to take this guy apparently. And another one able to ensnare him. We don't even know what shoddy in the, in the green does, but like, I need, I need more than that. I, I do need more than that, but this is just the first trailer. I'm sure they'll give us more leading up to it. This probably is definitely not coming out till like next year. Uh, if that, but it does look like it is a Sony picture. So it could be in line with Venom universe. It could definitely be in the Venom universe, just not in the uh, MCU universe, which I would be more, I would like that more. Let this be in the Venom universe. So that way it kind of ties together. Madam Web can be like, hey, you, you know, the kid, they like, they can all form their own team. Or you know what, better yet, have this movie be like Madam Web and the the like the spider totems or like Madam Web and like give these 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 kids like these kids a name and a team, which I'm sure they will eventually. And I feel like that movie would hit a lot better. But you just have Madam Web smacked on it, and we don't really see that much of Madam Web. But I don't. Well, we see a lot of her, but we don't see everything that she can do. But you know, this is the first movie. Let me know what you guys think. I think I may have rambled a little bit, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you think this is going to be good? Do you think it's going to uh, flop? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Peace.